Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. Yeah. Fares, nobody will fight for you. Nobody. I've come to let you know, Fares, you are about to spring a surprise to your generation. A pleasant surprise. <laughs> Situations of life may have given credit to Zara. Circumstances and human beings. Certain things Zara may have leveraged upon. But that will not stop your destiny from manifesting. Somebody say, I hear. Isaiah 45. This is what your God is about to do for people with the spirit of Zara. Thus said the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holden, to subdue nations, to subdue nations. I'm going to hold your hand. Fares, I'm going to hold your hand. Though there was another hand somewhere, but I am one going to hold your hand. I'm not the one holding the hand that is blocking your passage. Oh, no, oh no. yes, 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 yes. It's hand against hand. But what determines is who is holding which hand. Lift your right hand and say, Lord, hold me. He said, we hold your hand and subdue nation before him. And we lose the loins of kings to open before him, to open before him the two lived gates. And the gates shall not be shut. Hey, Pharaohs, listen, they may have shut the gates, but when God's hand is on you, the gate will open and no man shall shut it. In Revelation, he said, I'm he that opened it and nobody shut it. <laughs> he said, I will go before thee. This is the strength of, Zara, of, of, of Fares. I will go before thee. Zara may have gone on his own, but I will go before thee. And, and, and I will make the crooked places what? Straight. I will break. Can I hear somebody say break? I will break in pieces the gates of brass. Ladies and gentlemen, Outside the, the delivery world or the maternity world, we are people to welcome Fares. And Zara brought forth his hand. Don't disappoint your generation. For the index expectations of your creation waits for what? The manifestation of the sons of God. Romans 8, 19. The endless expectation. Your, your generation is waiting. They are waiting for your arrival. They are waiting for your manifestation. They are waiting for your show up. Can I hear somebody say, fight? Somebody say, fight. Can I hear you say, fight? Until you move, God will not move. Until you move, God isn't going to move. He said, I will, hold you. I will break the gates. I will break the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. When were the gates 
of brass and the, gar the, the, the bars of iron, why we are they created? There is a barrier between you and your destiny. There is a barrier between you and your manifestation. There is a barrier between you and who you are created to be. And that's why he said to us this year, the barriers will be there, but you are on what? Unstoppable. That word unstoppable is only for those that have this kind of spirit. And I, I, read, I read in my book here, and it says, it says, it says, the achievers, men that achieve something. He say they see stumbling blocks on their way to success as stepping stones. That's the spirit of Pharaohs. They see what? Stumbling blocks. As what? As stepping stone. You know what pushes them? Why they turn the stumbling blocks as stepping stone? They see beyond the stumbling blocks. See what they, they see. Can you go to verse 3? Verse 3, very quickly, 45, Isaiah 45, verse 3. I will give thee, what? The treasures of darkness. Now, it takes light to see that there is treasure inside darkness. Otherwise, the moment you see darkness, you give up. It takes men that have insight and foresight. It takes people with this spirit of Caleb who saw the giants but was motivated by the fruits of the land, not the giants. I didn't come for giants. I came to see the land flowing with milk and honey. Oh, lion, the in the cabara. Until you get to that level that you are not seeing the obstacles. What you are seeing is what will help you to get to the treasure. To get to the treasure. You are climbing on the obstacles. And you are climbing. And before you know it, you are there. The treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places. Hidden riches. For us, it's true the road is closed, but it was the road. So if it's closed, it's a tem temporary closure. It's not permanent. It is true that road, the road is stone over the tomb. That is true. But the main truth is this. The stone rolled away when the time came. Oh, Niata say, somebody must hear this. Ladies and gentlemen, there is an appointed time for the rolling stone to remain there. But when the time expires, the stone will roll off. The enemy may, meant, may have meant it that it will remain forever. But the King of Glory, the Lord who sees in the secret and rewards openly, the, the Lord that knows the heart of men should see your heart pumping that this stone, you are just there for the moment. It's a passing phase. What is happening to you is a passing phase of your life. It's not going to be permanent. Somebody say, I hear. Every hidden destiny helper be made visible in the name of Jesus. I've come to announce to somebody that the season of celebration has just started. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. This week, this week is your 
week of testimony. Unlimited testimony. Somebody shout and receive it. Ekeya <laughs> Dahosa. He says, achievers are men and women whose inadequacies and physical handicaps become access road to favor and success. The spirit of a race, a spirit that take advantage of disadvantages. Look at somebody by your side and say, take advantage of this disadvantage in your life. That is what spirit of Pharaoh does. That is what spirit of Caleb does. It, it takes advantage of the disadvantage. They may abuse you. They may have thought you are not educated. They may have thought you don't have a good background. But, but take advantage of it. <laughs> and spring a surprise. That was why. And, and Zacharias ran. They say, look at this short man. They didn't know that short man was going to spring a surprise. They didn't know that the sinner is going to shock all of them. He ran and climbed a sycamore tree. He took advantage of his ad disadvantage. And before you know it, he was on top. And his action attracted the master. There was no plan that Jesus was going to his house. But his action, friend, listen to me. Your action will attract your generation to you. I said to you last week, I'm going to stop here. I said to you, Zara came with hand. Fares came with his head. Use your creative mind. There is something in your brain. Stop bringing out the hand. There is something in the brain. It is the brain that controls the hand. Use your creative mind and dare it. Venture into it. Don't fold hand. That others failed in their tent does not mean you will fail. That the others didn't succeed when they went didn't, does not mean you will not succeed. You are created to succeed. The seed of success is in you. The seed of victory is in you. The seed of favor is in you. Somebody shout yes. Stand to your feet. I kill a trasher. Nebru do gadabahada. The spirit of Pharaoh is the spirit of unstoppability. Is the spirit of an overcomer. Is the spirit that never get discouraged by the success of Zara. Don't get discouraged by anybody's success. If anyone has succeeded, it is their portion. That does not mean yours is overtaken. No. You are not defeated in the battlefield when the bullets are flying. You are defeated on the inside of you first. You die before death. There is no way you will fight and win in the affairs of life when you live a discouraged life and your confessions are always negative. You cannot make great impact in your life when little things disorganizes you. And little things dis just cause you to get confused and disorganized. You cannot succeed in life when you are very petty with small, small issues. This life is not meant for people who are attracted by small, small things. When Papa was alive, he said, this place is not for small dreams. So you don't enter Papa's office with a small dream. 
if your God is not great, please get out here. Here, you dream big dreams. Somebody say big dreams. What Caleb saw is the land flowing with milk and honey. Who told you that giants will not be there? Why do you want to deceive yourself to believe that you are going to be the only champion? That you are the only one that will succeed in this line of business? That, that is your deception. Your deception is that you think that in this line of business, you will not have competitors. Hey, there will be competitors. Very fierce ones. So prepare for it. If you prepare for life, you will live life in full. There are little things that are happening to us and they overwhelm us because we didn't prepare for it. Who told you that life has no battle? The reason why people pack up and walk out of the marriage is because they never prepared that in marriage there is going to be conflicts, disagreements, there's going to be issues. Because they didn't prepare for it. All that was in their mind is a land of rosary. No. If you don't prepare your mind, Faraz will shock you. But when you prepare your mind and see the hand of Faraz, you just know it's for a moment. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. It is for what? For a moment. See, this is life. You can't be 70 years old and enlisting to run Olympic. Uh, am I communicating? No, no, you can't. You can't be 70 years old. You want to jump from there to this place. It means you don't understand the time and season you are in. You get to a certain age in life, certain things don't bother you, certain things don't trouble you because you know, as you know, that you know, that you know, that these are things that come with certain age in life. So you prepare yourself. Can I hear somebody say fight? Fight. If you don't fight in your season, your season will pass you. Hear me now. If you don't fight in your season, your season will fight against you. Fight in your season. For there are things allocated within the season you are in. And I have come to let you know that you are in the season of breaking forth. Can I hear somebody say, I'm breaking forth. I'm breaking forth. Lift up your hands and begin to worship him. I'm breaking forth. I'm breaking forth. I'm breaking forth on the left and on the right. I'm breaking forth. I'm, I, it doesn't matter. Even if it is a gate of brass. Amiko sole. Nadaraba da da da. Narigere godo zekaraba. Hey. Mushalaba Gagadaba Ekere de Gede Bede 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 Every hour to be in the name of Jesus.